Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm coming to you from Toronto, because as you guys know, I've been secretive, but also not very secretive about the fact that Omar and I are working on something together that we will be launching slash releasing to you guys probably in September, mid to late September. So I'm out here for the week getting a lot of that stuff done. It's been pretty crazy. But today, we don't have to start work until like, I think, five o'clock so I'm kind of taking the day to myself to go and explore go get some food I'm gonna go get a blow dry right now because my hair really needs some TLC but I also am gonna be showing you guys what I packed and how I packed for Toronto and just like the typical stuff that I pack because I consider myself a pretty savvy packer I don't know about you guys I overthink everything when it comes to packing so I want to show you guys like everything from clothes toiletries hair, skin, I mean, I guess that's that's toiletries, but you know what I mean, like I wanna show you all of that. Uh, but that'll be a little bit later in the video. Right now, we're just gonna go out, we're gonna get this hair done, it needs some love, as I mentioned. And we'll see you guys at the salon. several hours since I have vlogged. It's actually been an entire day. Right now I'm here at White Lily Diner in Leslieville and I'm with Omarion and Sibarion. So we're gonna get some food. This place is actually amazing. Um, I've been here before and I got their buttermilk griddle cake. Like, Where are you guys? The best pancakes ever. Man, I'm looking wrecked right now. Okay, well I'll follow up with you guys in a bit. So, I got two over medium eggs, two butter pieces of toast, some jam, and these are the pancakes right here. Oh man, look at that. Pure delicacy. I got the uh, smoked salmon because I'm YouTube fitness. Severin, of course, got a green salad plus a uh, cheeseburger. Why do you look so traumatized, Severin? And uh, Jazz got a full sack of pancakes, some toast, some eggs, and I believe you're getting dessert. Are you? This is my dessert. Are you? Cutting? On a program? No. Seven, and you're on a diet for sure, right? Yeah, on a diet. Oh wow, it seems like a pretty, pretty chill diet you're on. Yeah, we call it a jazz diet. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. You know the CITY today. You all right? Today we are going to the ROM. Omar is uh, being an excellent tour guide. Even though I've already been here, we're gonna go see an exhibit. What exhibit did you say it was? Uh, Kirk Hammett has an exhibit where it's basically a sci-fi horror one from his Ooh. private collection. So. Ooh. The what? You gotta just do that face one more time. Ooh. Are you okay? No. So we're gonna go to the ROM and we're gonna go to BMV to go look at comic books. Yeah. Just uh, everyone should see your walk. Just go ahead. Keep walking. Uh huh. Uh huh. You gotta just narrate that part and say, and I knew I would never forget this moment <laughs> for the rest of my life. All right, let's yeah, talk. so we're gonna go to BMV after. We're gonna get food. We're gonna go to this Ken this shop in Kensington Market that Adrian at 437 told me about. It's gonna be a good time, so enjoy this vlog footage. Before we go into the exhibit, we have some lunch here. Got two vitamin waters, a salmon burger, and ketchup, and onion rings. And I don't know what this is, but it looks really good to me, so I'm gonna eat that. And what did you get? So I got a roast beef sandwich. Let's just compare real quick what we got. Roast beef sandwich, we got a burger, salmon yeah. burger, mm -hmm. full onion rings, yeah. noodles, yeah. and then... I haven't eaten today. Neither have I. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn this off now. Mm. 
May I present to you? Terror at the Glass Emporium. Oh, glass case. Fuck. Close. Pretty cool. Who made that? Me. <laughs> so this poster was discovered in like a boarded up theater that had been remodeled and it's one of the only posters known to have stayed from the classic Frankenstein. Super cool. The cutest fucking squirrel I've ever seen. It's just red. in a squirrel form. So you guys saw live footage of me feeding the Chonk Monster 3000. May we cross paths again in our future lives. But I decided I'm gonna start an Instagram called The Chonkies. And I know that there's already like a bunch of really good Chonk accounts. Shout out to Brown Boys. Shout out to Round Dot Boys, Brown Boys. Uh, but I think I'm gonna create one called The Chonkies and basically post the same stuff that everyone else has been posting. What's gonna make you different? My captions. Their captions never do them justice. Right. So yeah, look out for the chonkies. So confession guys, um, Omar and I were walking to BMV and uh, I legitimately started melting as we were walking. Like like people were walking by in like jackets and boots and Omar like straight up wearing like a sweater and sweatpants and I was like, dude I can't do this. The chonks was having a meltdown. And so I was like, we should have fucking got an Uber. He's like, you know, Jazz, uh, based off the way you're talking, I'm gonna go ahead and request an Uber. And now we're in an AC place and I'm feeling fucking great. Looking at a wide selection of comics. A lot of superhero stuff here. All right, we're gonna see what we can find. Chonky. Are you Omar? Chonky. Omar, are you self? So I've just decided on a bunch of books to get, but Omar and I were browsing some of the psychology books and I'm just really overthinking which of these two I should get. So I just asked Omar if he would put the books behind his back right. and I am going to do any mini miny mo. I had him shuffle them and that is how I make majority of my decisions in life. Randomness, so. I like it. Pure luck. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch tag, by the toe, if it all looks like a set to pick the very last. So, the right one? Yes. I was kind of hoping it would be that one, so it worked out. Mm -hmm. High five. <laughs> okay, so I just told Omar that I still really actually like that one, and he was gonna give me a lesson yeah. on how to actually make so, the best when choice. It comes, this actually is on, I think, yeah, choice theory. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> but basically, whenever you make a choice, if you feel a massive regret for the other choice, that's probably the one you actually wanted. So if you do randomness and you pick this one, and you're like, oh, I'm really disappointed that I didn't do this one. It's most likely this one. Whereas if you think, I picked this one, do you have the same level of regret? The one that you have the biggest regret for is the one that you actually want to read. <sighs> and I feel like, yeah. Oh, I think okay. it's relevant. All right, all right, all right, all right. You picked some, uh, you picked some heavy ones. Uh, <laughs> based no, on some great philosophers. <laughs> and then I told you you need to read Crime and Punishment. And yeah. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> what's it about? Moida? Okay. <laughs> Moida. Moida. <laughs> All right, we got some sushi, all you can eat. Still waiting on a few more, I think. I got, I think this is my green dragon roll. Possibly a spicy California, I'm not sure. Spicy salmon and sushi. little cutaway in this video before we continue on with the vlog. As you guys know, I have been a die-hard audiobook lover and I am a huge fan of Audible. So a quick thanks to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Audible recently released a new separate package called the Audible Escape, which is basically everything you've ever wanted in the romance department. It is a monthly subscription that provides unlimited listening to thousands and thousands of love stories. What's really cool about it is that you don't actually need to have an existing Audible membership. Audible Escape is its own
own separate entity within the Audible platform. I've really been loving it because, as you know, your girl is back on the dating scene. And I feel like, you know, it's nice to read about love stories and dating and all of that when you're in the midst of that yourself. So I've currently been listening to All the Boys I've Loved Before, which is a super popular audiobook. You guys have probably heard of it before. And it's basically about a girl who wrote letters to all of her previous lovers and then they all get sent out to them and they all end up reading about it and it's just this crazy journey of her and them discovering it and the embarrassment and the excitement and the discovery of new love and it's just it's really sweet so I would highly recommend the service if you are looking for some good romantic books that you can listen to every month and have an unlimited selection to pick from there's over 18,000 titles I believe in the romance section so if you're interested you can get audible escape and listen to unlimited love stories for free for the first month after that unlimited listening is just $12.95 a month but you can download the app to explore all of the different love stories by visiting audible.com slash love jasmine I'll have that across the screen for you guys as well or texting love jasmine to 500 500 so again that is audible.com slash love jasmine or texting love jasmine to 500 500 as i'm getting more into romantic love audiobooks please do me a favor and share some of your favorites i also again highly recommend listening to all the boys i've loved before and that's it for now let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the video so guys getting ready to check out of my airbnb um but i figured i would do a quick little tour for you guys before i head out this has been one of the coolest like hard style lofts that I've stayed in. You guys will also notice Omar in the background. We just got done filming two more collab videos for you guys um, that will come out next month. One this month and one the next month. But let me give you guys a quick tour because it is really cool. So fun fact, I have actually stayed in this building before. I've stayed in two other Airbnbs here. But this one has probably been kind of like the nicest, more feminine one I've stayed in. Um, somebody actually lives here and I will give you guys a tour. Okay, so you walk in, it's got these uh, kind of hard style loft doors because this is a live workspace building. And there is this cute little office space here. Oh, those are my shoes. I forgot to pack those. I need to grab them. Um, but she's got all these old pictures and stuff, which I'm assuming are like family members and her little bookshelf. And then you go in through here. It's all open space, so she's got a really nice little living room area. She did a really good job at kind of creating separate spaces for each part of the home. It's probably a thousand square feet here. Um, she's got these two nice mirrors, little shelves, TV, sofa, all of that. And then up here, all of the lofts here have this uh, where it has steps that Typically in the one that I've stayed in before, I'm not gonna go up because this is her private space, but people have made it into their bedroom. One of the places I stayed at did that before, but she is smart and turned this all into like a storage unit slash her closet. That's basically all it is up there. And she has pictures of her pup up here, which I think is really cute. And then you go here, you've got the dining table, which it's actually quite big. It's probably 10 feet long and it's just, it's really nice. She's got some storage units here. Again, really good at making the most out of a not highly storagey place. And then this is the kitchen. Everything in this home is white. <laughs> but she's got like a little bar stand, um, the sink. You could tell that this is like all Ikea furniture, but it just looks really nice in this loft. I love it so much. Um, it was just a really nice kitchen, easy to keep clean. And I thought this was the cutest part. She's got all of her pots and pans. She's got them all up here, a little cookbook, blender. And then she's got this little coffee station, which I did not utilize or take advantage of while I was here. But it was nice to know that it existed. This is where the bathroom is. It's actually pretty big, again, for being like a, a loft. Look how tall the ceilings are. I loved all of the exposed piping and stuff. This huge industrial shelf where she stores towels and hair goods, things like that. She's also just incredibly organized. Like everything in here has its place, which I really respect. And then the very last part, probably my favorite part, is leading into the bedroom area. So she's got these drapes to kind of separate the two. But this is the bed. I took off all the sheets and everything because anytime I stay in someone's home, I, if they have a washer and dryer, I will wash their bed sheets and their towels because I use them. I want them to be able to come home and kind of make their bed as quickly as possible and go back to it being their own home. Um, but she's also a freaking like master pole dancer or something. And so she, she put like a note where she's like, yeah, feel free to use the poles, just, you know, 
don't you know put jewelry on them they're easy to scratch like these are professional grade poles but it was it was very cool to wake up to this in the morning and just have two poles for pole dancing which I quickly realized I don't know how to do any of those things and there's these kind of like distorted mirrors and then the windows probably the next best part is just how large these windows are so beautiful but anyways guys that is it for this little tour I need to get ready to go now to the airport I upgraded my flight to business because it was not very much to upgrade and I was like I had a really bad flight coming here so <laughs> treat yourself but I'm gonna take this hop in the uber and head to the airport <laughs> 